Tracy, live in fact, Dave, to explain how the Summer Academies program works. Good morning. I feel like I should have worn my science goggles and yep. my uh, lab coat because we're about to put. Okay, you ready to hit switches? Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. More robotics action. Yeah. Let you know you me love that. Ride. Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> Why didn't they have classes like this when I was in high school? That's my big question. Such a but it's question. okay, because moms and dads, you can send your kids to Sac State, get the whole college experience while they're still in high school, and learn some of very, very cool stuff. So take a look around. We're in the uh, Robotics Academy right now. We've got a couple of gentlemen that are hanging out with us also. Cybersecurity, as well as coding, very important uh, for the tech age. Come on over here, gentlemen, because uh, we're taking a look at the, the robotics camp that's happening right now, but you guys have a couple of camps that are coming up that are going to be really cool for the kids. And it's really timely for the kinds of stuff that you're talking about. Like Devin, Devin Cook, you've got the um, coding mm -hmm. camp that's coming up. So what can kids learn in the coding camp this summer? Well, we uh, basically spend about a week, and we teach students how to program using a programming language developed here at Sac State called Flowgarithm, which lets them do stuff with flowcharts. And so we teach them how to use flowcharts, right. programming concepts, and then from there we go to actual real code. STEM! I love it. Okay, so let's uh, talk to me about cybersecurity. June Dai, yeah. you're going to be teaching that course. You've got, uh, the, your, your first classes are pretty much filled up, but you've got space in your second classes yes. as well. Yes. What are the kids going to learn in cybersecurity? Because everybody's talking about that right now. Okay. First, we also have one week to teach them cybersecurity, right. and then we will first cover the fundamentals for, for the cyber world, how it works, and we will also explain how the attackers will exploit that in a malicious way, and then we will also teach how you can defend and protect yourself. So, will this be something that these kids can actually take home to their families? Because even, you know, with malware and, and mm. things that we do at our own home computers, not necessarily, you know, FBI level, but the things that the kids can protect their family computers too. Sure, sure, sure. They can share the knowledge with their family members, their friends on how they can raise their security awareness, how they can um, protect themselves and protect others. I love it, I love it. Okay, so Devin, there's a bunch of other uh, academies that are taking place, not just the cyber world, but you've also got um, <laughs> like yeah, forensics, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we got one like Democracy in Action, where yeah. people can learn about democracy. They have one related to fashion, which yeah. I have no, no knowledge about. <laughs> uh, but Don't like, sell yourself short, Devin. There's there's a lot okay, of academies okay. out there, and they should look online and see which ones are available. Absolutely. You know they have a multimedia one as well. Miss Sharon Ito in charge of that one. She, word across the street, she's kind of amazing when it comes kind to of. media. Okay, so yeah. take a look around here. We've got lots of students that are uh, working on their, feverishly, on their robots. Jessica, what are you working on over here? Hey, right now I'm setting up my uh, infrared headlights. I just finished the whiskers. and I'm The whiskers, I love it. it. Yeah, there's a little whisker so you don't run into the wall and stuff like that. That's so cool. How long have you been working on this? Um, about three or four days. Okay. Plus working at home on my free time, just because it's really fun. I like it. It it does look a lot of fun. But Ethan, I have to ask you: Are you having fun in the course? First question. Second question: Whose idea was it? Yours or your parents? I love this course so much. <laughs> it's so much fun. And this course was my mom's idea. Yeah. I had would have had no idea about it if it wasn't for her. So. So you're glad that she got you in it. Do you think this is stuff that you're going to use in your future? I don't know if I will, but I really hope so because I like doing this and it comes pretty easily to me. I love it. Now, I don't know if there are any future hornets in this room, but stingers up, my alma mater rocks! Yep! <laughs> now, it, are we allowed to do stingers up if we're not... No! Uh, no? I, can I do an honor? No! Oh. You... <laughs> no! What would you say? Ken! Ken! What? Wrap your hand around her hand so she won't try to do it. See? Oh, exactly. Exactly. Oh. Oh. It's only for hornets. What is your mascot there, Chapman? We were the Panthers. The Panthers. All right, then. There you go. <laughs> you do that. I don't, I don't have a really cool <laughs> hand sign I can do. With the Panthers. Do you know how many parking tickets we all paid off to be able to do this? Yes. Do you know how many parking tickets? And how yeah, many I, times I, we were late to class? I, right? I, just so I we can do this. I understand. See, I, I just wanted to support. I wanted to support all of the singers. We appreciate that. You can always that. do the V for Victory for USC. There you always. go. And then you're closer Thank to them. Thank you. Too. Yeah, you're in Southern See? California. See? I <laughs> you scared her.